guys, so we're here at Sundance 2015 and I'm hanging out with Aloe Black. Now, how's your Sundance so far? So far it's been great. I've had a chance to walk around and um, see all the sights. I haven't seen any movies yet, but hopefully that's coming next. So, now you recently did a duet with Lady Annabella. Now, how was that? That was really fun. I was, I was honored to be um, invited to perform with them uh, at the CMT event. They've been covering the song in the show, Wake Me Up. Mm -hmm. They invited me to sing it, and for me, you know, great to get in front of their audience. That song was on repeat, I think, just on my playlist, probably for a solid like five months, yeah. nonstop, and that's all I was singing. So it's it's just it's such a good song. Thank you, I appreciate that. I, you know, we worked hard at it. Mike Einziger and Avicii and I were able to create something that I think touched the world in a great way. What is it like trying to come up with like what's the next thing gonna be? You know, I think what it comes down to is uh, not focusing on whether it can be a hit because there's so many factors that yeah. determine that. I mean, I've had songs that are huge hits over in Europe, but then they don't, we didn't have the same infrastructure in the U.S. to make it work. So as long as I'm happy with it and the musicians that I'm working with are not rolling their eyes in the studio, <laughs> then we've got something nice. What do you think of the whole Spotify movement? I mean, how is that affecting people? I mean, Taylor Swift pulling all of her music. Yeah. And I mean, do you think that's something that is good? Or like, how is well, this affecting artists? I think, I think streaming is obviously the, the way that we all want to consume music. My only issue with the way things are going right now is that the laws aren't changing fast enough. Mm -hmm. And I've been talking to people in, in the House of Representatives and the Department of Justice about what it's going to take to change the laws so that they match the, the speed of technology changing. So how do you feel about like the social media movement? I mean, that everybody's on Twitter and Instagram and kind of like super interactive. I mean, do you participate in, mm. in the I participate. In the I mean, I do it because I, I want to be sure that my fans know what I'm up to. Um, from a personal level, I'm not really communicating with family or friends. Yeah. I do that in real life. I yeah. come from the generation, old school generation, where you know you actually go to a concert and you dance rather than uh, living through the through the social media. It's it's weird though, because like I'll go to events mm -hmm. and I will film something and I will enjoy it then. But then I enjoy it so much more when I'm at home, like editing the video. So I feel like people are learning to enjoy things a little bit differently. I mean, do you think that's, that's it? It's, it's not it's not as though people aren't enjoying. Yeah. It. What I'm used to is being in the moment and sharing and sharing that energy with my my audience. Yeah. So when the phones go up, it's fine because I know that they're still embracing the mm -hmm. moment in a, in their own way. Um, but I just wish that I could see their eyes That's and true. their smiles. Well, thank you guys so much. We'll have more here from the Winterfest VIP Lounge. This is the VIP Lounge. Did you know that? Really? We're hanging out. Yeah. Damn, I got into VIP. You did. You're here. I'm somebody. Check out more at Billboard.com and YouTube.com slash Billboard. See you later.